Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Go away, Claudia. Leave me alone. Drink this hot tea, Mama. Come on, do you good. I don't want hot tea. Nobody cares what you want. Mrs. Brown, you have a cold. You have to have hot tea, too. The two go together, cup and lip. Having a cold used to be a very pleasant affair until you came along. I know, I know you hate being taken care of. But you have a daughter, and that is her one mission in life. Who says? I says. Every child has to take care of her poor old mother in her old age. And what are you doing? Practicing for that eventual day? Drink your tea, Mama. Would you like another blanket? I would not like anything except peace and quiet. You've been fussing over me all day, as if I had pneumonia or something. I don't even know how I let you talk me into getting back to bed. It wasn't very difficult. I wish you'd take your temperature. I don't have any. Then why are you afraid of taking it if you don't have any? Claudia, go away. I'm sick. I want to be alone. You're sick. Since when are you sick? I just said that so, so you... All right, give me the tea. <laughs> Mama, you sneezed. Thank you for explaining to me. Um, how about a hot water bottle, Mama? Claudia, will you stop fussing? You're going to catch my cold. Oh, no, I won't. How do you know? Can you prove a cold is contagious? Yes, I can also prove a cold is unpleasant, ornery. And people with colds ought to be left alone. Oh, I know you better than that. If I let you alone, Mrs. Brown, you'd start feeling persecuted and neglected. And you wouldn't drink your tea either. Why don't you try and... S- <laughs> oh, dear. An electric pad, Mama. Two more words and I'll wring your neck. I really think you want to catch this cold and pass it on to your son. Maybe that's what you have in mind. Bertha is taking care of Bobby and I am taking care of you. I would be happy to exchange with Bobby. How's your tea, Mama? It's too hot to drink. Drink it hot. It's supposed to burn you. I can't drink it so hot. Well, force yourself. When I have a cold, you always tell me to drink it hot. Now, I'm just getting even with you, that's all. Drink it, Mama. Bully. How's your head? Better? Spinning. Hello, I'm home. David, hello. Mama's head is spinning. I'll be right up to hold it down. I'll be right up. I'm so glad you're home, David. I've been smothered with attention and drowned in hot tea. Oh, I know you have a great deal to complain about, you poor thing. Here I have devoted the best years of my life nursing you through this cold. All I get is complaints, complaints, complaints. Claudia? (gasps) Claudia, you sneezed. I did? Oh, well, what's a little sneeze? Everybody sneezes. (laughs) Claudia? You sneezed. Oh, it's just the power of suggestion, Mama. I've been listening to you sneeze all day. It really doesn't mean a thing. When you do it, but when I do it, it does. Of course, you're my mother. I wonder, why do people always have to pretend they don't like being lazy in bed? Sounds delicious to me. You hate bed, and so do I. You know, I didn't think I'd mind it at all on a day like this. Gosh, it certainly is dreary and cold and nasty out. Nope, I don't think I'd mind it at all. Oh. <coughs> Claudia, you Ooh. sneezed again. You're not feeling all right, I'm convinced. What convinces you? That you're wishing you were in bed. I didn't wish. Give me your cup. You said bed wouldn't be bad. That's all the convincing I need. Besides, your eyes look bright. That's good. Bright eyes is good. Not when it's a fever. Let me feel your hands. Go away, go away. Forehead warm. My forehead is my business. Then why isn't mine? Well, because you're sick in bed with a cold. The minute a person is sick in bed with a cold, their forehead is public domain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, it just won't come. Ooh, my nose is tickling. Put your finger under it. No, that doesn't work with me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there. Claudia, come over here. Will you please stop sounding so self-satisfied because I sneezed? Just as I thought. What? Your hands are icy. They aren't at all. It's just because yours are so warm. Claudia, stop arguing with me. I know when your hands are icy or not, and I say yours are icy. So what's the difference if they are a little icy? It's winter. Everything else is icy. You don't go around lifting your eyebrows. Very funny. Now, 
Listen to me. You pick yourself up and take yourself right out of here and go put yourself to bed this instant and take your temperature. I am not three years old, Mama. You act as if you were. It's all your own fault, hanging around me, not letting ha- me have my cold and my private. Now go to bed before you get worse and pass it on to the rest of the household. You want David to be sick and Bobby? Well, if it'll make you feel any better, Mrs. Brown. I will lock myself up in my room alone with cotton and all the keyholes. And drink some hot tea. Mm. Aren't you pleased with yourself? Who sneezed? Achoo. We both sneezed. Both of you? Mm. She forced me to bed, David. Used brute force. Good for her. But now she's... All I did is sneeze. Don't make a fuss, David. And her hands are icy. Put her to bed. This minute. Honestly, a woman doesn't have a chance around here. You're telling me. Come along, you. David, aren't you even going to ask Ma how she feels? I know how she feels. She feels as if she had a cold in the head. I feel fine. Well, you look awful. She takes great pleasure in calling people names. Well, Claudia works under the theory that a good offense is the best defense. A plot, that's You just all said that plot. on a day like this, you'd be happy and sconced in bed. That was before I knew I was going Stop there. Stop loitering. That's one of his favorite words, Mama, loitering. Whenever he tries to be serious, he always starts mm, talking I'm about going loitering. going to count to ten. One, I'll two, three. I count with you. Three, one, two, three. Claudia. Goodbye, Mama. I'll just be in the next room in the next bed if you want anything. If I want anything. It won't be you. That means she loves me. Mm, now, hurry up. Get yourself in some warm flannel pajamas and put the blankets under your chin. I'll get you a hot water bottle. David, I don't want a hot water bottle. You'll get what I want you to get, and that's final. Honestly. You know you're as bad as I am. David, I feel fine. I just simply sneeze. Well, we're going to nip you in the bud. Oh, darling, I hate you having to come back from town and spend all your evening nursing me, especially when I don't need it. Well, if you're really concerned about me, you'll do as I tell you. Well, that is the only reason I'm doing what you tell me, so you won't worry. And all right, all right. Bobby won't catch my cold if I have one, which well, you, I have. You certainly have. Oh, David, please, I don't want you to fuss now about Now, stop anything. running things. Take off your shoes. I am doing my best. Here, I'll take off the bedspread for you. I must say, letting somebody think you're catching cold has its advantages. How's your head? Oh, it aches beautifully. I'll get you some aspirin. Oh, I hate taking pills. Now, hurry up. Get into those pajamas. You're having a wonderful time, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I Gorgeous. I just hope... Oh, dear, what do you I hope? I just hope... Well, I just hope you don't catch my cold, too. Because you don't know how to take care of yourself when you're sick. Huh. The pot calling the kettle black. All right. I'm in my flannel pajamas. You certainly are. And looking suspiciously like a, a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Here. Here's the lollipop for you. David, I will not have Open my... Open your mouth. Now, uh, shush. Don't bite the thermometer in two. Mm-hmm. Oh, darling, I love you so, but... I didn't have this thermometer Don't in my mouth. Don't talk with that thing in your mouth. i really tell you how much I love you. Now, shut up. That's David. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Bed feels good. Oh. Guess I'm catching cold at that. Little one, of course. Guess I didn't realize because I was fussing over Mama, but my bones do kind of ache. I'll be all right tomorrow. Yeah, sure you will. Now, give me the thermometer. Here. I have no fever. You have, uh, 102 tenths. Well, that's no fever. 101 fifths. It's over fever. one degree. Well, silly old thermometer. Just doesn't know what it's saying, that's all. I'll get you the hot water bottle. It's in Mama's room, darling. Don't let me catch you getting out of bed for anything. Not on your life. Mrs. Brown, how are you doing in here? I'm doing fine, Dr. Norton. I'm just making the rounds of my ward, checking up on my patients. Anything you need? How's Claudia? Well, she's getting a cold, all right. No question about it. Now she's in bed, she admits she's glad she's there. That child, she insisted on hovering around me all day. <laughs> well, I can't blame her for that. Say, you, uh, you mind if we borrow your hot water bottle? Not at all. I have the electric pad, too, if you want it. No, no, I think this will be fine. If you want anything, call me. I won't want anything. Claudia, I fetched you the hot water bottle. Stole it right out from under Mama's feet, I did. Ooh. Still sizzling. Poor David, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Here, put it at Paul's feet, and I'll run downstairs and boil some more water. Oh, darling, you, you better tell Bertha that Mom and I won't be down to dinner. All right. Two trays coming up. Huh? 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 David, you sneezed. Was that David sneezing? 
It was, Mama. Huh? Huh? <coughs> David, you sneezed again. Can a man sneeze? No, a man can't sneeze without a reason. Now you lie still. You're the patient. Oh, David, darling, how are you feeling? You catching cold? Have you been sneezing all day? Come on, let me feel your forehead. Huh? Come here. <laughs> that settles it. When a man sneezes three times, it's a cold. And when a woman sneezes... Three times is a cold. Now, David, look me in the eye and answer me. I will not. Are your hands cold? No. Oh, darling, you can't pull the wool over my head. I can tell when you're not feeling like you. Mm-hmm. Well, how can you tell? Because you don't act like you. Now, nothing can be clearer than that. And you have a circle under each eye. Well, that's where they belong. Not on you, they don't. Mama! David has a cold, too. Mama, I do not. Tell him to get into bed. You hear that, David? Get into bed. I don't want to get into bed. Bed is the only place to be. You'll see, David. God bless you, Mama. God bless you, Claudia. God bless you, David. <laughs> what we need is somebody around here without a cold. Well, there's Fritz. Oh, well, he's too busy to be of any use. And there's Bertha. Oh, uh, Bertha. Mm, Just the me. woman to nurse me back to health. We'll have her. We'll have her cook us hot pudding. Hot pudding. And bring us hot water bottles. Hot water bottles. With hot bricks in it. Hot bricks in it. To keep our feet warm. Hot feet. And chicken soup. <laughs> and noodles. Of course, with noodles, Mrs. Brown. Uh, oh shoot! Mama, was that you? No, that sneeze had a German accent. That sneeze takes the noodles out of the chicken soup. That sneeze reduces our sniffles to just being <laughs> sniffles. Honestly, to think that Bertha would do this to us. It just goes to show you, you can't trust anybody. <laughs> huh? God bless us all. And a Gesundheit for Bertha. When you pause to hear a radio program during the day... When the family gathers around to listen to an evening favorite, it's pleasant to have ice-cold Coca-Cola at hand. Or even the best of entertainment is more enjoyable when you listen refreshed. <laughs> oh, David, David, uh, before I leave, why don't you take yourself a mustard plaster? Take myself a, a what? Well, that's what my wife always says. Shh. She... You give Claudia ideas. Now go away, Joe. Go away with your mustard plaster. Besides, we'll... We'll all be in fine shape tomorrow. You wait so and see. So quick? Mm hmm. Sure, I'm, I'm feeling better already. Well, I hope you're right, David, about uh, tomorrow. Why? What do you mean? Well, you'll need your health, you know, when the oil furnace loses its. Ah, uh... uh, nonsense now. Our oil furnace is fine, and so am. Run for life. Sure, you are. Uh, God bless you, David. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr, and the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>